Hi everyone, welcome to Torah Info for another Zoom meeting um, of a guest speaker, Daniel Subov. Um, Daniel Subov will begin and starting us to tell us a shiur about our chances, our shadows. Please, Daniel, begin. Okay, thank you everyone for that for our presentation. Let's begin. Okay. We're going to be discussing about uh, Hashem sees our shadows. I want to add that. Hashem sees our shadows. What does that mean? Hashem sees our shadows. It, it doesn't make sense. People think it makes sense. It doesn't make sense. Let me tell you what it means. It means that Hashem sees what we're doing. Hashem sees our mitzvot. Hashem sees our averot. And Hashem sees our mitzvot. Hashem sees what we're doing every second. And Hashem sees what we're not doing every second. We have to understand that Hashem is in charge of the whole world. He was the one that made you. He was the one that created you. As we said that to yesterday, um, thank you. We have to thank Hashem. Yes. But this also has to relate. How? This relates because why it doesn't work? Because That we have to relate to this. Why? Why does why does it relate to thinking Hashem? And the reason why it's relating to thinking Hashem is because Hashem sees our shadows. Hashem is merciful on us. I heard a shiur yesterday of Duvi Ben Shusha. And this was like two years ago. And he said that one time he was driving on the highway, going out to Lakewood. He was just in Brooklyn. He went to Brooklyn to say shiur. He was going out of Brooklyn. Before he went to Brooklyn, he went to go get the 300 CDs that his uh, like his manager, whoever was creating the CDs, he went. Uh, this manager came up to him. He said, Rabbi, 300 CDs. When you get to Lego, please put it out. He, um, the rabbi said, okay, fine. I'll put it out. Go. All of a sudden, he's on the highway. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, the last thing he realized was he saw a police officer's face. He flew 104 feet down to Garden State Parkway. All the way down in the Garden State Parkway, there's another bridge. He went off the highway. He went 104 feet down. And the car was still going. His car was still going out of nowhere. He didn't, he didn't know what was going on. But his thing flew, went 104 feet down. And the car is still going. Guys, could you believe it's Toyota Camry? Honestly. And basically, he saw a police officer's face. And you know what the police officer said? The police officer said, are you alive? Are you alive? And he said, why? Why not? Of course I am. I'm alive. The, the police officer said, this never happened in history. A person falling 104 feet down and he's still alive. They went to the hospital, the nearby hospital. His brother went to go to the car, to the uh, to the tow truck, tow car, whatever, tow truck zone, whatever. And he saw all these things smashed up and the passenger seat was destroyed, but the two seats in the front were not. When, and the brother said to um, his, his other brother, he said that when I went into the car to get your tiffy lane, I saw Everything sprinkled. So everything sprinkled. Why is everything sprinkled? And Rav Duvi said, "Yes, uh, um, my manager gave me three hundred CDs, and all of them broke into pieces. But the brother said there was one thing left. There was one CD left, and guess what that was? That CD." was about thanking Hashem, that Hashem is merciful to us. 
That's what he saw. The car was not broken. Only the passenger, the on the passenger seats in the back, but the two seats in the front were not broken. His feeling were in the car, and his what's it called? And his one CD was left. Everything else was sprinkled. How is that possible? 104 feet down. How is that possible? He's still alive. I'll tell you. Hashem save our lives. Hashem says, I could, I could have get through this guy. I could have say, I'm a, I don't need him. He's done. I could go to, he could go to Olamaba. No, that's not how it works. Even though he's 36 year old, years old, it doesn't matter. He still has to be in this world to do mitzvot. But I, we have to understand Hashem sees where we're going. And when we, uh, when I go to the next year, we're going to be having next year, um, next Monday on 6, 6 p.m., please come. We're going to be talking about the right path. I'm going to say this relates to this. Why? Because Hashem sees what we're doing. Hashem is leading our path. He wants you to go off the dech lo alenu, he will go off the dech lo alenu. If you want to go to the uh, tzaddik way, he will go to the tzaddik way. It matters about you guys, but Hashem is just guiding you. Hashem is walking you. Like through the chuppah, you know what, you know what it says when you get married? Hashem is with you also. Like your parents, they're with you also. They're with you. That's what we have to understand, but I, we, shall, we shall all see Mashiach, Mikdash, please come to the next year on Ask the Path and uh, please see Yaakov Tzion's video about Kibbutz M, the series of Kibbutz M, and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Yaakov Tzion. Wow, that was an amazing story. That was really, really, really amazing story. Thank you, Daniel, so much for this wonderful Chizuk. It was amazing, amazing Chizuk. And it's true, Hashem really sees everything. Hashem takes care of us. Hashem does so many things for us. We always have to appreciate. Thank you again, Daniel, for giving us for this Chizok and Shiur. Thank you especially, um, everyone, for for info. Shiur. Hope you, uh, everyone enjoys it. We'll see you Please next visit time our website. Next